Um, so I quickly want to discuss just how to hide and show and some of the, the tracks because if you're like me, um, you'll end up with quite a lot of tracks. So I'm quickly going to show you guys there's a couple of tricks here. We've already touched on some of them. So you can see these are my tracks and you can see how many tracks I've got. Um, and also, uh, 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 let's say we've got Lawscorp here. Lawscorp has got 17 tracks inside it. And some of these, the ones with the dates are the ones that I've actually recorded. So this is the actual track. But the ones, um, the other ones, I'm not going to, I have, I think, yeah, I'll do that. I don't know what I can do with my mouse in relation to pointing. Um, but I can basically load the thumbnail. So you'll see the ones that, that I tend to design on Google My Maps, I'll call right into Lawscorp or Lawscorp and back and whatever. And then I'll save, once I've recorded the track, I'll save it back into that folder and that will become the actual track. Now, if you look at this um, uh, uh, piece here, um, if I click on the top, not the, the uh, uh, not just the visibility side, but you'll see it will actually show me the actual track with all the details, distance, track time, recording, all the normal stuff. Um, st some statistics, charts on traveling, waypoints that I might have visited, intervals between my trips, a lot of stuff that obviously comes with GPSs, but this is, is, is really super powerful stuff. The one thing that I want to show you guys is at the bottom of this, you've got your style on the map. And that is the one thing that I actually change quite often um, because some colors, if you're busy navigating and the sun is shining from the top or shining on your screen, some colors need to stand out. And I find true blue and true red stands out. So what I do is I basically almost always go to my folder, my style on my map, and my map is set that it's actually five pixels wide red, but you can actually change it and then say, you'll see I don't have a full um, transparency that makes it too transparent, so I'll make it full solid. Come on. There we go. And I'll choose red. And I'll also make it um, five pixels wide as a default. That, just for you guys that aren't going to navigate, that seems to be five or six pixels with a bright color. You can also do the bright blue. That blue works quite well. And then that green works quite well. So you'll see it's the, it's the RGB bright color. So let's do the red, five pixels. And that's what it's going to look like on the map. If I go back to my map, I've turned that one on now. I'm just going to zoom out. It's a little bit strange doing the mouse here. Oh, did I turn it on? No, I didn't turn it on. So I'll quickly show you. Um, I've selected it, but I didn't turn it on. So there's my, where was it? It was Lost Corp. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so my Lost Corp. And the reason why I didn't show is I didn't make it visible. So I can turn on the visibility and um, and, and and yeah, show show it on the map. So if I go back. There we go. There it shows. And if I zoom in, you'll see this is the recorded track, so it's quite detailed. Um, even there. Yeah, I think we, we had a bit of a break there on the side of the road. Okay. Now, a really cool feature is I can also, while we're on the tracks, I can also select the track. So if this is my finger and I'm, I'm riding with or without gloves, I can basically select the track and also get to its editing. So if I select a point on the track, if I just select the track, it will just give me some statistics of that specific point. But I might want to access, um, you'll see it says that this is 60 kilometers into the track. There's still 101 kilometers left on that track. Um, but I can, there's an extra option where I can now do a couple of modifications. I can do route planning. Um, I can modify the track or I can get back to the track details, which will put me back into this it's sort of a shortcut to get into this side. And I use this shortcut quite often if I want to change the color or something like that on a route. So let's say there are too many red routes um, displayed. I rather want to do blue. Uh, Malaka. Okay, there we go. And now it's blue. And you'll see also I've changed it from red to blue. Look at how bright and visible that is in relation to that light blue one. Okay, so um, yeah, as an explanation, then um, I'll, I'll summarize a little bit later on. But you can to make your routes visible, 
and and hide you go to tracks and routes you've got your tracks and your points and you can select any of your folders and you can basically make anything visible that you want to see or you can hide anything and those things will basically just be visible if you actually then want a summary let's say i've turned on a couple of tracks now some of the ndba and the ldba don't know if anyone's going to write that this year um it's going to be quite cool there we go but i don't always want to show my my roots so what i'll do is i'll select the root and i'll just say hide it so you can hide your roots straight from your screen as well okay or alternatively you can go to your menu and you can hide your roots from here there's my loss group root and i can choose which ones i want to hide now another like a nice feature is also um the fact that you can actually show or hide all, all the routes. So let's say this this WDBA, this we've got 21 routes here. Um, I can actually go, you'll see there's a menu, there's, there are menu options at the bottom here. I can select that and say display all, which will go crazy because it will show all my routes for that. The WDBA is a, a little private dual bike adventure event we set up during lockdown. Uh, middle of last year, riding with Mark Taylor um, and the guys there in Nelspreet. But you'll see that's quite complex. So I don't necessarily want to see all of that. And I can then just, again, go back to tracks, go to WDBA, and I can select there and I can say hide all. So it's a great way to hide. Now, where that plays a big role, I want to show you that um, one of these, which one was it? Oh, this one, like Zengela. The Zengela points of interest um, have 208 points so if you if you show all those points it really clutters up your view so this function to hide and display all the um, the points is really powerful because if you import a route let's say someone gives you a route I like this one and I import it and it basically dumps 208 points on my map this is a great way to just say hide all of them and you can basically manually select one at a time.